This time I'm going to alter into a four equal parts using four here, four here, four here, and four here. Okay. And again, for the circle here, so you could use the circle to guide you where to put your clay, so it will be in the center. And then I just push it here, so your clay sticks onto the flat insert. Okay, for another uh, tip too, uh, if your hand cannot form a very nice curve, right? My, my finger here usually forming a very nice curve here. But if you have trouble or struggle with um, forming a nice curve, actually I have a, 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 another tool that is also very really good. Um, it's my uh, round rib. So this rib, you can also use that to just push it and squeeze it from the center. And again, the, the special design for my rib is that this part here is the curve. So if you cross over, you're not gouging in the clay. Right, so just to show you that using that to compress from the center. Right, so you're forming a nice curve on the inside. And then you just follow through the curve you you just form it and then you just pull and lift the clay follow the curve All right so you can make it nice and smooth and then again after that use a rip to smooth the outside And if you want it, make sure that uh, the curve is nicely done. You can use the rib to go back there and compress it. Right, so all the all my ribs are related to each other, right? Related to each other. Even if you could, you could use that too, right? If you want to use that to compress it, it's related to each other. So I spend extra time to compress the inner part here because uh, usually when people look at the bowl, the, for the first impression is the inside of the bowl. So the bowl has to be uh, nicely curved. And uh, for altering the rim, usually you don't, you don't uh, trim all the way to your rim. So you want to make sure this part here is nicely done. Just cut the uh, corner, just cut the clay off the corner. Okay, and uh, the uh, my best system, you can see that it's fairly easy to clean because it's just like wiping the clay off your wheel head. This, the same material is made of uh, aluminum. Okay, 
it's easy to wipe it off wipe it off clean okay now again um you know find number four right so i have number four here i'm gonna put some clay here get some clay up my fingertip and then find number four here and number four here and number four here right so one two three four and again i would do the same method of using the curve of my number three and the squeeze it okay push it with the finger supported on the outside and this part here slightly push and here's another one slightly push Okay, so you stretch to the four equal part, and sometimes the the pressure is a little bit different, so so it doesn't look like very squarish. Okay, but uh, you can adjust it. Okay, adjust a little bit, and I would do the same thing. Push from squeeze from there, so the uh, the the uh, square shape is more dramatically. Okay, so squeeze a bit here. Okay, so uh, square, square shape, if you're in a corner to be more sharper, you could kind of stretch it here, right? Put the finger there to stretch it. The ball, stretch it, and stretch it. Okay, and then uh, just wire it off. Way up, way up uh, the clay, clean it further before I remove it. Okay, just pop it up using a piece of a wooden stick and then go in there and okay, remove it easily. Okay, so that's the altar for the square shape. Okay, put another insert here. Right, again, finding your circle. Here, here, here. So that's good. And then just make sure you clay stick on the back. Right, so I have to take care of outside again. Use the rib, round rib. This is my four inches round rib. Compress the inner part. So the inside is nice and nicely curved. And if you don't like, sometimes you don't like the uh, the texture from the, the rib, okay, you can remove it using the rib. You just run your metal rib there and you can remove it easily at the very final stage. Right, you remove it. And again, make sure the uh, the the rim is nicely done because you are not going to trim it all the way. Okay, 
wipe up the that clean so I will be able to see the division. Okay, this time I'm gonna order five. Okay, five. So I'm just find five here. Run the five here. Five here. Five here. Five. So one, two, three, four, five. So I will have a little support this time. I'm gonna push from. I'm gonna push from outside. Okay. So a little support inside. Here one. Two. Three. Four. Five. So five. And if you wanna be able to romantically you could also do that too, right? So one, two, three, four, and five, right? So it's a lot easier to find your five ego parts using my bed insert, my aluminum bed insert. Wire it off. The little part of the finger mark you can do, uh, you can clean it up later. Okay, when it's at the radar stage, you're ready to trim. You can just use a sponge to or paper towel to or shampoo to clean it. Okay, okay, five equal parts. Okay. 